Hi guys, Luke here from VES Electrical. Uh, today's tutorial, uh, we're going to discuss removing temperature sensors from the program. We know that there's times when farmers or farm managers may have a faulty sensor out in the field and it's more than likely causing the fan comp to alarm. Now, by removing the sensor from the program, this will buy you a bit of time, it will stop your alarms and it will also um, give you time to maybe get the electrician in, whether it's a day or two later. So I'm just going to step through the process of how to remove the faulty temperature sensor from the program. So, initially you'll get the alarm. So if you click on your alarm page, you can see sensor number two is faulty. Now if we page back one step and we'll go and have a look at sensor number two. Second green button down on the right we can see the temperature sensors in our poultry house and sure enough we've got a minus 99 value on sensor two. Minus 99 means that the sensor is open circuit. By open circuit, normally this means that there's a break in the cable somewhere. So rather than spend time looking for a break in the cable with a constant alarm going off, we're going to remove it from the program. So if we page back once and we hold the down and the up arrow together for three seconds. We will now enter the hidden menu. In the hidden menu, if we click on the third green button down on the left, which is installer, we can see on the right side here an icon called inside climate. That will be the fourth button down on the right side. Click on inside climate. Now we can see a list of our temperature sensors here. Temperature sensor 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These temperature sensors, we're looking for temperature sensor number 2 which is the first number in this chain of digits. We're going to hit edit and hover over, remember that first digit says number two, that's temp sensor number two. We're going to hover over that and enter 0 0.00, 0 enter. We can now see that there's just a series of dots or lines where sensor number two should be. This means that we've actually removed sensor number two from the program. The next thing I'm going to do is page out once, twice, three times back to my home screen and we're going to view that sensor now by pushing the second green button down on the right and you'll see sensor number two is no longer. Therefore, if we page back once and we click on our alarm icon button which is currently flashing, which means that there is an active alarm. We can see now that the alarm has been recovered. Sensor faulty, number two, recovered. But we're still getting an alarm. So if we hit the edit button once, the black box comes up on our screen and we can push the green down button once. 
when we hover over the recovered sign here with our black box, we can now press the negative or positive value to scroll through until the text says scene, upon which we hit enter and the alarm condition is no longer. And you will also note that the flashing alarm light has now gone solid green, which means that there are no alarms present. We can page back to our screen. And that's it for the tutorial. Hopefully this will uh, help you guys out and give your electrician or repairer a little bit more time to come to site and repair the issue. All the best.